Yeah, I don't know, Bree. He just, it, it really scared me. It, he had this look in his eyes and I just, he, he was just in my office. I come into my office and the lights are off and he's in there sitting, waiting for me. No, I was shaken up for sure. No, none of my partners were there. I just, I did not tell Jay and I don't want to tell Jay. Hang on. I don't want to tell Jay because it could just start a whole bunch of other drama and I don't know how he's going to react or how crazy it can get. And I don't know how crazy Sean really is. I don't want them two to have to face off again. So I just haven't said anything to him. No, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to tell Jay right away. I'm just not. Tell Jay what? Oh, Brie, let me call you back. Call you back. Hey. <clears throat> hey, what's up? How's, how's it going, Jay? Good. What, uh, what did you want to talk to me about? No, I didn't want to talk to you about anything. <laughs> well, you're saying that you don't want to tell Jay, and I'm thinking, why wouldn't you want to tell Oh. So what's, the, what's the situation? Um, Bree was just, something small that happened at work, Bree was asking me about, um, this one of my, one of my parolees was, just got a little out of hand, so. It's nothing you need to worry about, well, though. It's definitely something that I need to worry about. If your parolees are acting up at work, and this could be, I don't know if this is a physical situation or what's going on, but what's, what's, um, what's the parolee? What's going on? It's, it's not that big of a deal. I took care of it at work. Mr. Stovall helped me out. Ernestine, I feel like it is a big deal. And as your husband, I should know what's going on. So just talk to me. Who is this? What's the, what's I, the situation? If, I think if it's something I need to talk to you about, I for sure would tell you, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Just venting debris. Girl stuff, girl talk. Mm. I don't think it's um that big of a deal. I um I had it under control and yeah, I'll be fine. Gotcha. Um, do you what are you doing for dinner tonight? Do you dinner well, or... uh, speaking of plans for tonight, I had a conversation with Mama Brenda, mm -hmm. and um, I don't know. She gave some really good advice, and she felt like that me and you just needed to find some type of spiritual counsel. Jay. And I, I know, but I agreed. I felt like that was a, a good suggestion because we we haven't had that in quite some time. So I called Amber and uh, asked her if she had anybody she could recommend, and she recommended Pastor Chris. So uh, I'm gonna have him come over tonight, and you know we're gonna talk tonight. Yeah, actually, well, wait a minute, Jeremy. You can't just spring counseling on me just all of a sudden. We have to. Talk about these things with me. I, I don't want to speak to past. Who's Pastor Chris? Is that the pastor that married her and Anthony? Yes, yes. He's the pastor that married her and Anthony. They actually do counseling with him as well. So I figured that it would be good for, for us to try it. Why not? I think that's something we probably should have talked about before you scheduled the man to come over. What time is he okay. supposed to be here? Well, his schedule is usually pretty busy. He was free tonight. He'll probably be here. I, I mean, he should be pulling up in the next 20 minutes or so. So, <sighs> Jeremy, I don't, I'm not in the mood or mind frame, the mental to even sit down and do okay. counseling well, right now. Let's just try. Please. Are, are you busy? Do you already have plans? always like a, a surprise thing with you? Listen, we talked about this being something that we, we should try. We should try to either going back, start going back to church or just praying more. And I feel like why not have a hey, pastor right. come in? I did. I did say that. And I did. Okay. I He's going to be here any minute. Let me just go freshen up at least. Okay. Please. Thank you. Okay. It'll be a good thing. Trust me. All right. If you say so.